cannabis is consuming the Sooner State. As it appears, Oklahomans can't get enough of the stuff. Hundreds of thousands hold medical marijuana cards and cannabis dispensaries. Well, they're popping up almost everywhere. Two Works for You investigates, and Mason Morrow outlines the fierce competition among dispensaries cashing in on the green gold rush. I had no idea. I don't think anybody could have foreseen the you know success of the program. A budding billion dollar business once thought impossible in Oklahoma. The, the growth in the medical marijuana industry has really surpassed pretty much anyone's expectations. Approved for medical growing sale in 2018, the state and retailers anticipated 80,000 patient licenses in year one. However, in 2019, the Oklahoma Medical Marijuana Authority issued 190,000 cards. As of today, it's issued almost 400,000. And I don't see any indicators um, on my end that anything's about to slow down. This blossoming industry generated $800,000 in sales in 2020. Chip Paul drafted state question 788, the law Oklahomans voted for in 2018 to legalize medical cannabis. He tells Two Works For You the marijuana market will surpass the 10-figure threshold this year. We will absolutely have the best medical marijuana program in the country. According to the OMMA, over 2,000 dispensaries are licensed to sell in Oklahoma, more than any other state. If you drive around town or anywhere in the state, you're going to see a lot of dispensaries. Nationally, Moore and Edmond rank in the top 10 among cities with most dispensaries per capita. Tulsa is 17th, an opportunity two years ago, now a cutthroat competition. Eventually, at some point, we're not all going to be here. May the best group win. To Ross Falenko opened Seed Cannabis Company near 6th and Peoria in February 2019, and Seed just opened its third location. Three cannabis storefronts in a sea of almost 500 in Tulsa County. We're not all going to survive, so hopefully... You know, we hope to be one of the survivors. Like the buds they sell, dispensaries come in all shapes and sizes. Seed here isn't the largest retailer in Oklahoma, but it has a strong foothold here in green country. Well, here at Harvest Health in Sand Springs, it's a family-run dispensary. They grow, cultivate, and sell their own cannabis all by themselves. That's just what we're all about, just very family-oriented company. Tony Rodriguez, his wife Lena, and son Dalton opened the dispensary two years ago. The trio raised the plants from soil to shelf while planters and tenders help. The family operation has three flower rooms, and that's half as many as the grower used by Seed Cannabis Company. The family's smaller scale can't match their larger competition. So, in order to stand out in the crowded cannabis industry, Rodriguez remembers why he joined the fray in the first place. A close family member suffers seizures, but cannabis tames the episodes. We put her on that and it was just a huge change in her total demeanor. His dispensary, Harvest Health, is an organic pharmacy. Its mission, first and foremost, to improve patients' lives. It's not about selling it. It's about what the customer actually needs to help them overcome whatever deficiencies they have in life. The profits, while substantial, come second to helping heal his clients. Chip Paul with OK For You Approved tells me he wrote legislation to allow for a free marketplace. There's no cap on retailers and the cost to start is lower here than any other state, just $2,500 per license. Other state fees range from $4,000 in Colorado to $100,000 in neighboring Arkansas. Mason Morrow, Two Works For You.